Yeah, you can park right there. <laughs> uh, so guys, look at the mess we have here. <laughs> this was not what my plan was. Um, but last night... That is such a bummer. I thought we would have caught that on the security footage, but that is where the recording interval ends. Right when it got interesting. Oh well. Um, so, if you've been watching this series, you know that a couple or maybe a few vlogs back we showed the free trailer that I found on the side of the road. Because, you know, somebody comes with the spray paint and writes free. <laughs> it has to be free. <laughs> it's free. He broke down. <laughs> His car broke down. He couldn't take the trailer. Got the car towed. Right? Left the trailer there. Somebody thought it was a joke. Let's put it free. The guy's coming back with his car to take it home. He's looking. He's going to go like this. Hey, honey, where do we break down? <laughs> <laughs> what a score. It's not every day that you find a free trailer on the side of the road. Um, so, happy to have it. The only thing is, is I didn't need this. Uh, canopy thing on the trailer uh, so I decided to take it off and uh, I was like you know what I'm not going to film this because it's not that interesting I can just mention it maybe whatever well jokes on me because now here I am explaining it to you which is even less interesting um, I wasn't expecting it to go you know sideways on us uh, and unfortunately, my security cameras were like, meh, that's enough recording for now. We'll pick it up a few seconds later. So basically what we ended up doing so that it wouldn't uh, get more damage from stress of like laying open like a... What the heck was that? What are you running from, Archie? <laughs> anyway, uh, as you can see... Like I was saying, we picked it back up because it was laying open. Whoever built this used way too short of screws, but even if they did use nice longer screws, it probably still would have opened up because of the way that it toppled off of the trailer. The reason why I didn't want any stress on it is because I want to keep this temporarily. It's going to be perfect to house my two lawnmowers over the winter because otherwise I just use a tarp and uh, this, is, this is just way better so uh at least temporarily until we can get the new shop built uh, which ideally will be able to house everything it does now plus more including the lawn mowers and possibly some of our uh vehicles that would be nice but we can't do that for a while so let's make the uh free uh trailer thing into a shed First, I want to make sure it's relatively square. That's 104 inches. This is 100 inches, so we can go over that way about two inches. We're not going for perfection, just good enough. We don't need this thing to stand forever like the Great Pyramids of Giza, just long enough for us to get use out of them. Oh, perfect. Ow. They used tamper screws. Ah, that's okay. We have the bits. Where are our torques? Right here. I think that will fit. Perfect. Look at that, I got bent.
season? Oh, sure. One second. Let's see if this is still what it's supposed to be. 102. And 102. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. How's it going over there? Uh, it's going. Do you want to come see? Oh, are these the kind you have to eat like this? Uh, I don't think so. Are they? It tastes good like that. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh-oh. Oh. You want to eat that? Eat it. <laughs> Here. Why are you sneezing? <laughs> oh, you don't like it? Maybe Henry will eat it. Right here. No, he doesn't like it either. He doesn't like it either. <laughs> Ava, here. He likes the peas. <laughs> She's totally like Shadow. Shadow loves peas. <laughs> She's just like a giant version of Shadow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see this garden. Oh, look at those. Are we in the Shire? <laughs> Look how big those onions are. They are really big, actually. And the tomatoes Dang. are so heavy, they're falling over. Oh, yeah. So, I'll probably pick those today. And the onion. The carrots, I'm going to leave in the ground for a while. For now. What about the potatoes? Probably. Um, I'll probably dig them up today, I think. You're going to dig them up? Or do you think they're okay in the ground? What do you mean, dig them up? Do they grow underground or something? <laughs> yeah. Zing! I'm definitely picking the corn today. Oh yeah. The corn is uh, nice and brown hairies, whatever you call those. Uh, silks. So, silks. Where did it go? Fun fact guys, for those of you who don't know, each one of these strands, right, each one of these little hairs goes to an individual kernel, kernel inside the hut. Oh, stink bug. Get out of here. I guess now that the raspberries are done, the yeah. stink bugs are coming over here. Oh, there's a couple of them. Yeah, there's nothing worse. Oh, sorry, there's plenty worse, but it does suck. When you uh, go to pick a raspberry and you pop a stink bug into your mouth, that's hiding inside. So this is what the raspberries are looking like now. They're all shriveled up. They were done a couple weeks ago. But uh, yeah, if you pull the berry off the plant, it's it's hollow inside right and oftentimes or some of the time at least there's a stink bug hiding in there stick that in your mouth and it does not taste that great um yeah overall our garden was pretty good you know, see if i can show you here each one of these corresponds with an individual kernel oh look a little jumping spider these are like some of the friendliest if you can call it friendly uh, friendliest bugs or spiders there is. Friendly might be the wrong uh, verb or uh, noun, adjective, <laughs> whatever it's called to use, but it, it fits if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, jumping spiders seem to have like a personality that you can influence with interaction, kind of like a dog. Jumping spiders are cool, is my point. But anyway, our garden did not bad. Uh, the corn wasn't the greatest, but it still produced some. Uh, a lot of it didn't come up, so we didn't exactly get a block uh, of corn. We just got, you know, a few here and there. But the beans were good, right? Yeah, beans are great. So those are taken out already. You started to take out the peas. Cucumbers were good. Like oh yeah, you took out the cucumbers that were climbing up here. We've learned that uh, we need to expand our uh, trestles, or whatever you want to call them, trellis, <laughs> trestles, <laughs> trellis is up a little higher, because even here, if you look at the, these blew over in a wind, right? Look how tall the peas are. And our trellis is right here. I had nothing to hang on to, so it just, fell over. Have you ever tried one of these? Mm, no. Do you think we can plant these? Maybe. 
They probably would have to be dried out. Oh, look Not. at that. It looks like when you open up a uh, ramen noodles, you know, like cup of soup. It looks like dehydrated peas. I wonder if they taste the same. Mm. Oh, they're hard. <laughs> Maybe they could be planted then. Hard but chewy. Maybe they'd have to dry out a little bit more, but. Let us know in the comments if this is all the prep you need to plant more peas. I caught one of them. <laughs> Tastes like nothing. <laughs> I've stuck on my teeth like a caramel candy. Not from Poland. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it tastes like peas now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we got some chives here, some basil. Uh, unfortunately, the only marigolds that came up out of all the ones Ashley planted were those two. Um, but whatever. Everything's kind of looking kind of bad because we were late, but... Yeah. Got some lettuce here for the chickens and evidently the deer. Um, they didn't eat much of the carrot leaves. Last year they ate all of them. Um, what else? I guess that's about it, hey? Yeah. Didn't plant anything in the herb box but look at our sunflowers back there our sunflowers in the pumpkin patch just started coming up but these ones here are looking pretty good someone sent us these ones which seem to be lasting longer than you know the ones that we're used to seeing no this was a fluffy one too oh it was i just yeah i just took the because it was done i took the things off this morning and i'm gonna give it to the chickens in a bit okay um like here you can see Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You did plant some regular ones in here, though, didn't you? Uh, I did. Like, this was a regular one, I think. Yeah, so they are done. Yeah. It's so, like, satisfying, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the chickens will love that. They'll love it. And look, guys, our grass that we put in here, the sod... Made it the whole summer almost. Like there's still some green in there. Of course they scratched the heck out of it. But uh, I mean we expected that to happen. Um, and these, were these regulars? Yeah. Yeah, they, they did pretty well. I think I think it would be cool to do this again next yeah, year. I think so too. I think it looks awesome. And then I think these... These were gifted to us from Irene, mm -hmm. right? These and then these purple ones. Of course, they looked a lot better when they were, you know. In their at, prime. In their prime. So these sunflowers, they grew decently well for the weather that we had this year. But over here in our pumpkin patch, <laughs> we kind of abandoned this, so... It's kind of our own fault, but also the soil is just terrible. But you can see we got a lot of our sunflowers finally coming up, but they're just little guys. And then our pumpkins. Are these pumpkins or are these? That's spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash, okay. Yeah, none of it did well. You can see I mean, honeybees are still after the clover. When I realized it wasn't going to produce, I kind of let it go. Yeah, like they're just starting to flower yeah. now. And it's, what's the date today? It's like... September. September 14th and then you can see here these are the pumpkins then yeah they're just they're just barely they're coming up dying. now and yeah you can see how far behind our sunflowers are yeah the soil is just not good not in not, spot. not in this area and we're not worried about the soil in this area because it's all going to get destroyed as I mentioned earlier we are going to build a bigger shop and it's going to come back this way and all of this is going to have to be prepped in order to build on and so when we have that built and we have everything established in terms of infrastructure, all of this will become a garden again, but probably further back. I think it's cool to have a, like a pumpkin patch, you know, separate from the rest of the garden. And we also plan to expand our garden that way a little bit. And when we eventually build our greenhouse, um, everything will be kind of cohesive and hopefully we'll be able to 
uh, have uh, prosperous beds everywhere. And we may even do some raised beds and all sorts of things like that. But as you can see, this did not do well this year, but... <laughs> The thistles really like it. That's right. And oh, look, we got fresh clover here. This is from not mowing for several weeks while uh, we were away. Some of you might not be aware uh, why we were gone for a while, as I mentioned. <laughs> why we didn't mow for a long time. Why everything's a little disheveled. Um, why it's taken a while for vlogs to come out. Uh, in fact, I actually have the vlog that you watched before this one. I have to still put out my my friend's wedding. Congratulations, Jarrett and Brittany. Um, anyway, um, the reason why we were gone is because, unfortunately, um, okay, sorry. Um, so, unfortunately, my sister passed away uh, from a car accident that she was involved in and uh, we were gone because we went down to uh, to where she lives in Arizona to attend the funeral and uh, all the other things that go along with that sort of thing that involves family and all of that. Um, I did make a post about it in the community tab here on YouTube as well as on some of my social media uh, and I want to thank those of you who um, read that and were kind enough to donate to the uh, uh, GoFundMe that was set up by a cousin of my older brothers. Um, that was a huge help without you guys. Um, uh, you might be aware if you watch our channel here that I have a stupid brain thing uh, that has prevented me from working and therefore making money um, which then caused us to you know use all of our savings in the meantime because it's been you know over four months now um, without you guys we wouldn't have been able to make it down there well I'm sure we would have figured out some way but because of you guys it was uh, it was easier for sure because we didn't have to worry about the financial part of it so thank you very much Actually, we didn't even use the GoFundMe. Myself, Ashley, and my little brother, Dakota. Some of you follow him over on his channel, too. Um, because a, a bunch of you guys decided to buy a whole lot of art. All of my cutting boards I had left, plus other merch. Um, and then added big tips on, the, on top of that. Um, so because of you guys, we actually didn't even need to use any of the GoFundMe. Um, and so all that GoFundMe can be used towards my sister's family directly, plus, you know, funeral costs, medical bills for, you know, those who needed it, airlift, helicopter costs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we didn't have to use any of that, so there's more left for, for all of that. So thank you very much for all of those who exceeded the GoFundMe, uh, goal and also those who donated directly bought art, merch, and all that kind of stuff. That's very kind of you. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, a lot of you will know I'm not a big fan of uh, crowdsourcing uh, money like GoFundMe and adjacent platforms for my own personal uh, use. You know, I have no problem earning the money. That's why I always want you to buy my art and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have no problem with that kind of thing. Um, but for this, it's a little different. Um, so thank you for trusting us with that, even though you know that we're not we're not into that uh, sort of thing. Um, yeah. So due to the nature of our visit to uh, Arizona, there uh, normally I would film a vlog, but this time we didn't really film anything. Uh, just wasn't in it, right? Um, so the last vlog you saw was my friends getting married. Congratulation. Congratulations. Congratulations <laughs> to Brittany and Jarrett uh, on getting married. Um, 
actually in that vlog, you may notice when I found out about the news about my sister. Huge bummer. Uh, but hopefully you still enjoyed the video. And going forward, you still enjoy watching our videos. Um, but anyway, we didn't film anything while we were down there. Um, but on the drive back, because we drove there, we needed a vehicle while we were there. Uh, but on the drive back, I noticed, because we took a different route, I'm looking and I see this huge crack. I thought it was a little interesting, so I, sh I wanted to show some of that. There was a huge crack <laughs> in the landscape. You should come here if you've never been here. There's a, a big crack in the ground and apparently it's pretty grand. Oh, there's the eagle. I don't know if you guys could see that in the shot, but that was pretty cool. Anyway, back to work here. How's it going? Oh, you lost your ear. Lost my ears. See? People are always like, hey, why don't you get real wireless instead of these? That's why. That's why, because you dropped them. Hey, dropped it again! Dropped it again. And, and again. again! I'm trying not to get the glue from my fingers all over them. <laughs> that, that, that's why cords are good. They are. But the, uh, Oh, yours is Bluetooth, but it's got cords. Yeah, mine's Bluetooth, but it's cords. Okay. Want to help me out? Yeah, if you don't mind. But uh, first, what are you making here? Really big doors. <laughs> really big doors, yeah. So for a Tuscan kind of hacienda style house, these are going to be big screen doors. Screen doors. So these two will open, and the two side ones will be fixed in place. Like this one? Yes. And that one. Yeah. All right, excellent. And the boiling water beside you, I'm steaming pieces. In, in this tube. Watch this hot. Is it going to be hot? Yeah, it'll be pretty hot. Look, I'm looking here. Oh, yeah. We can... <laughs> so those will be for the uh, for the contour, yeah. Pieces, yeah. I steam them for a while and then we're in here. Bend them in, yeah. That makes sense. Made out of cedar. Mm. Cedar smells so good. Yeah. All right. Okay. I basically just need to flip it to write it. And then we need to put it right into that little spot there. Okay, so yeah, I put these crosses here so that 
hopefully that's, I mean, that one's going to stay on. This one's going to come off. But to tip it, I'm hoping that it'll be good. See all the legs. Yeah, well, I think we can do that. Thank you. I mean, Armando did leave his tractor for me to use to move it, but kind of awkward. I think this was actually easier. Sort of easier. Harder manual work, but like I think easier maneuvering. Good little drive. Thank you. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering, Josh, are you able to lift things now? Are you better? Are you healthy in the brain? Not yet, but I've noticed that I've been able to do more. Short little at, bursts. Yeah, short little bursts. That might have been a little much. We'll see in a little while, but there was no instant brain pain. After all, his brain is the size of a walnut. Remember guys, lift with your legs, not with your brain. <laughs> Quick health update. As you may have noticed, I've been able to do more work lately, hence this whole series working on the TP camper. But I still have to take a lot of breaks, take it easy, because as time goes on, uh, within uh, you know my task management and stuff, uh, my headache gets worse and worse and worse. This marks like four plus months of this headache that just won't go away. But luckily, it doesn't stay bad for as long as it used to. And it doesn't get as bad as it used to most of the time uh, as long as I am careful. Lifting this, I probably shouldn't have done that. But um, so far, I feel fine. Uh, whereas before, it would be immediate. Um, but I've been taking more... Uh, uh, risks, shall we say, uh, with what I'm doing just to see where I'm at because so far there's no diagnosis as to what the heck is going on with my brain. Um, my neurologist is consulting some other neurologists um, to see what they think, see what they can come up with because like I said at the very beginning of this whole fiasco, um, I was told I'm a bit of an anomaly because I'm exhibiting symptoms without them being able to see what it is. Uh, the regular culprits like brain tumors, aneurysms, and the like. I don't have any of that, which is good. Um, and we've also ruled out several other things. If you've been following along for a while, you know that we've ruled out, of course, the brain tumors, aneurysms. Those were the big scary ones. Uh, any blood diseases like uh, leukemia. Is meningitis a blood disease? I don't know. Don't have that anyway. Uh, it's not stemming from my heart condition. Uh... It's not a vaccine injury because I didn't get the vaccine. Uh, it's not, uh, they don't think it's from long COVID. Uh, it's not from uh, heavy metal poisoning because I finger paint, paint with my hands. Some paints have heavy metals in them. Plus I also do welding and stuff like that. Got that all tested. Got a lot of things tested, too many for me to remember off the top of my head. After all, his brain is the size of a walnut. Um, and they're continuing to look into it. Uh, I hope to have it figured out soon, but so far, all we know is that I gotta take breaks, which is what I'm gonna do now before continuing on parking the lawnmowers and then getting back to the whole point of this video, part of the series that you've been watching me put this back together.
Look who's here. It's Joel. Perfect timing. I just finished my apple, so I'm done my break now. And he's bringing Duke's, oh, it doesn't say Duke. I thought I was gonna perfectly time the reveal of it saying Duke on the front while I said Duke, but, uh, oh well. You can see that it, it used to say Duke, and that's because this was Duke's doghouse. But now, as you may have seen in this video, besides Henry, we got Buddy and Ava. You can tip it towards me, I got my hand on it. I feel like I'm probably standing like a Dr. Seuss character. There we go. Okay. Now nobody go blowing any brain muscles. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh. Okay. Is what? I was wrong. Oh, wow. It does work. You got it? Yeah. Want me to push? Well, you don't know how hard I dropped it, so I dropped it off the truck pretty much. <laughs> so, she's a survivor. That's the way I'm likely to drop it, I feel. Okay, down slow. Okay, not slow. Hey Ava, what's this? Do you like this house? Handmade. You don't care. How about you, buddy? Do you like this house? I mean, you don't have to use it, but since you're used to being outside, you might like it. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. No. Not yet. Not yet. What about you, Henry? Do you like that house? No? <laughs> All right. We'll see. Well, thanks for bringing it over, Joel. So, we have these two new dogs, and you're probably curious as to where they came from, or maybe you put it together. Hey, buddy. Hey, but Oh, hey, Ava. What's going on? You big old gal. Ashley's just putting the chickens away, and of course, Henry's looking, and these dogs... Every animal that comes here somehow just belongs to Ashley. Look, they're just all waiting for you. <laughs> Look at them. Chickens are in. Anyway. So you guys know Henry, and you guys know Shadow. Um, unfortunately, uh, when it comes to Shadow, we had to put her down at 16 years old. Um, before we left, she stopped eating uh, for like six days in a row. And rather than have her starve to death, because sometimes when dogs get old, they just decide to stop eating, um, we decided to bring her to the vet to get assessed and... Uh, it was the best thing to do was to let her go, unfortunately. So it's a little sad, but uh, it was probably the best thing that we could do for her. Hey, bud. Um, so you won't see 
you won't see Shadow in the vlogs anymore, but you will be seeing more of these guys, Ava and Buddy. And they seem to be getting along with Henry. It's been only a few days, but uh, so far they, they all like each other. Um, so Ava and Buddy were my sister's dogs. Uh, and unfortunately they had nowhere to go and we couldn't leave them without a home. So we brought them home with us and uh, they're gonna stay here. I'm glad they get along with this boy here because if they didn't, I don't know what we would do. Uh, we'd try to make it work some, some way or find a good home for them here, but uh, luckily we don't have to do that. Oh, maybe we can show the, hold on, let me turn this around. So look, you can see that that hair goes to that corn. And then Colonel. that hair goes to that one, that one goes to that one. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. So this is gonna be supper. And what are these? We're having onions and corn? Where, where do you get these jokes? Ah, some guy. <laughs> Welcome back to the unfinished kitchen where we've already made something to eat. <laughs> so there is some onions, but not a lot. There we go. Voila! It's dinner time!
done. And just in time, it's freaking raining. That's right. That's just how it always happens. You go to wash something off and then it starts raining. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder with how hard it's raining if mother nature could have got it just as clean as, as we just did. Check this out, we broke this tripod yesterday. Or we didn't break it, but the storm broke it. There we go, perfect. Luckily, that's the only thing that broke in the storm. It wasn't actually that bad. It just blew over and whatever. It still works. Um, last time we had a storm, I was worried about this thing blowing away. And you might recall that we lost power because our transformer blew up. Luckily, nothing like that happened. No high winds, just rain, not even hail. Actually, speaking of hail, on our drive to Arizona, we drove, I can't remember what state we were in. It was pretty warm. We followed a storm into this town and there was so much hail, I thought for a second it was snowing. I was like, what the heck, it snows here? That is so weird, it's a little slick too. That looks like a spring snow, snow yeah. Or like an early snowfall. just hail. Uh, but that's besides the point. This is looking good after its bath and it's almost ready for the next step. Um, but we're not going to do that quite yet. That'll be in another vlog. Uh, for now, let's finish this one. You might be wondering why in a series dedicated to this camper trailer did we make a video uh, all about the free trailer? Well, um, we're gonna use the free trailer because of this trailer. And we even got the free trailer because of this trailer. Uh, I needed to go to town to get a tool and on the way back, we found the free trailer. And uh, I'm glad that we have it because if you remember earlier in the series, we went on a dump run. We actually had to make two separate runs because there was so much stuff. Um, this time I'm hoping just to do one dump run to get rid of all of this stuff. Let's go get the free trailer. I'm pretty sure all of that will fit in there no problem and if not it can go in the bed of the truck and we should be golden and I've actually even started considering some improvements I can make to this trailer like for instance probably the most obvious I have to tie down my load before heading off on the highway to the dump there so a rollout tarp integrated into the trailer would be great some higher side rails would be good uh, Probably a better deck would be good too. Uh, you can see, and maybe you've noticed already, uh, this used to be a tandem axle trailer. Hey, Archie. Uh, a tandem axle, but whoever had it before me took one of the axles out. So, yeah, it needs some work, but it holds everything that was in this pile here that came out of this thing. So, I'm happy. Good job, trailer. Oh, hey, Penny. Um, and then also I have room for a second load here in the back of my truck so I can do two different loads in one trip like for instance here this is construction garbage I have to pay to dump construction waste at this facility but I don't have to pay to dump anything that comes out of the uh, shop or out of the house so I can go through the scales twice in one trip if I would have had this trailer the last time uh, that I did a dump run involving this trailer. Um, that would have been great. I had one load of asbestos and one load of just regular construction waste. So stay tuned for another vlog sometime in the future where we have another trailer project 
uh, making this thing better. But that won't be until after this one sometime. To be continued. Uh, don't do that. <laughs>